Wonderful people of Biafra, all of us of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. There's a video that I'm going to show you during the course of this very broadcast. It is a shocking video on a very positive way. Like if you read what I have written on the headline of this very broadcast, it says breaking news. Simon Ekpa almost destroyed me when I fought sit at home. Soludo must be careful. Father Mbaka drops another bombshell. Hmm. This is not a joke, right? It is not a joke because you will be watching the video right away. For this very um, single act of Reverend Father Mbaka, I have doped my cap for him. <laughs> I have addressed him several times. And um, lastly, when I talked about him, I told him that we are not in war with you. When he reported our platform to uh, YouTube, I told him that we are not at war with you, Father Mbaka. We value you, we respect you, we cherish you. Since you have retracted your step from supporting the murderous government of Nigeria that has continuously killing our people each and every day, and you have realized that Nibu Chichi and you are from Biafra land, even if you do not acknowledge it, uh, you know, with your microphone. But I'm sure in heart, you know that you are a Biafran. You know that you are an Igbo man. And you know that the Igbo youths are being killed by Nigerian government. You know that Igbo women and our, our young ladies are being raped by Fulani terrorists in our land, in our farmland. The time has come that all of us will come together and support Fadam Baka. And our leader Mazinam they can also acknowledge that when uh, uh, Fadam Baka was to be arrested by the zoo government. I told him that we are not at war. <laughs> so please, kindly stop uh, reporting our page. And I can assure you that that stopped. And today, being the 18th day of April 2022, Father Mbaka has another bombshell that will break the hearts of many. So without speaking much, let me allow the video to play. And after the video, we will now do the last and final analysis of that very video. So I want you to pay very close attention and you must share this very broadcast. I want you to get to those criminals that we sacked from this very movement for them to understand that Madiki Mahari, Ndingujulu Miliala, for those who are highly, you know, uh, enlightened, understand what we are doing and the people who are fighting for both the release of Mazin and Bekan, our leader, and for the restoration of Biafra. Watch the video. Don't go nowhere because we have a lot in the kitchen. It is not enough. It is not enough that we are complaining that the economy of the Igbo land is collapsing because of sit at home. Hello? You may not know the impact of this sit at home issue. It is so painful to any business person. But for people who are businesses, so we have to lift our hands because the secret of that sit at home is the releasing of an amdekan. If Namun is free today, sit at home will stop today. So lift your hand. We pray for prisoners. And one of us is in prison. And because of his importance, even the government could not stop sit at home. I say, go to work, go to work. Yet they are in their houses. And if they are about to move, they will use about 
20 security vehicles around themselves. So we shall lift our hands to pray. For over three years now, this is the year Igbo people have farmed. Listen. For over three years now, this is the best year Igbo people had found. We are thanking our young men who helped to clear the farms from herdsmen disturbances. God will bless you. You may not know what it means. In Abu Gugu last time, one farmer was killed and the whole body butchered and was brought between Ozala and Abu Gugu. The body packed there. Now, our farms, by the grace of God, are freed from Hesman destruction. <laughs> One of our priests last year, all his farms just messed up. He was crying. This year, he started laughing. So I am thanking our young men. I am blessing the Igbo youths. It shall be well with you. Amen. On no matter what, Borobo, I think I'm about to go. So I went to check my keno. That good Friday, I'm busting well on way. Is I? I need that better man. I'm well on way. Get one night numbed. Over on way, Tata. Sit at your mouth, Tata. I want to hear you tell me now. Come on, better than number. Simon, I went to him and meditated on that. It's painful. But it is now a responsibility upon us to pray out that our brother. I went to the Chukwaki in Nisia. A Babon on Yamadana, whom Nea went to the Akin. Up and son, Rude, one Abanaso. Oh, you know, Rude, one Abanaso. Oh, you know, Rude, one Abanaso. You know, Rude, one Abanaso. You have heard it directly from Reverend Fadam Baka. You just watch the video, you listen to him. Now, send this very video to those uh, uh, Ndin Zama, Ndin Zama, non at this struggle. Now, autopilot and Simon Epa is not their problem. Let them know that we are not their problem. God used us to end their career agitation. Because of what? They were not here for our freedom. And God needed this nation to be free in order to worship him. Biafra land and Biafran people are the only people who will teach the entire world how to worship God Elohim. In truth and in faith, not the religion brought to us by Rome and the, England, and the, and the British. Not that one. That is not how to worship God. <laughs> we will worship God in, through, in truth and in faith. Honestly speaking. So God wants the nation to be restored in order to worship him and teach the world how to worship God and make them to turn back, turn away from their transgressors or transgression. Are you getting it? So now, that is the reason why devil has been using umuoko ko in the name of Biafra agitation. Now, when God brought us, the autopiloters and Simon Epa himself, 
Odogunwoke, God used us to end their career. And since then, it has been a nightmare. But tell them that we are not relenting. We are not relenting. We keep on marching. Our plane is flying very, very high. Higher and higher each and every day. And I will not end this broadcast without warning them. Umwokoko, all of you that have been sacked from this struggle, the DOS and their criminal gang of uh, E-Rats, nothing must happen to Fadambaka. Before you start planning how to go and poison him, nothing must happen to Fadambaka. Nothing. I know you are working with the government. Nothing must happen to him, either through poison or through assassination. Nothing must happen to Fadambaka, or else all of you will have all Biafran people as autopilot to contend with. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.